In this video, we are going to talk about the new release of Flutter, which is version 3.7 that is released just a couple of hours ago. And now we are going to see what's new in this version and should we upgrade to this version or not. So before getting into the video, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So let's start. Okay, so Flutter just released a new version and if we select any of the platform, let's choose the windows and here we can see that the latest version is 3.7 now. Before that, the stable version was 3.3. So Flutter just jumped from the 3.3 to 3.7 means there must be some crazy updates in this release. So let's explore. So first of all, let me tell you that there are actually some great features in this release to improve the Flutter framework, such as we get the ability to create our custom menu bars, cascading menus, and we get the tools to support the internationalization means we can add more languages to our Flutter application easily. And after that, we get some new debugging tools. And other than that, Flutter also brings fast rendering and performance improvements in this version. Okay, so after that, we get some improvements in the Material 3 design. So what is Material 3 design? Material 3 design is an upgraded version of the material design we use in our Flutter applications. Means now we can use the badge, bottom app bar, field and field tonal buttons, segmented button, checkbox, divider, drop down menu, radio buttons, tab bar and slider. Means we can use all these widgets using our material 3 design which is an upgraded version of the material design okay so after that let's talk about the menu bars and cascading menu so what are the menu bars and cascading menu as you can see on the screen here are the menu bars these menu bars are completely customizable and in these we can use the new item widgets which are menu item button and sub menu buttons other than that, we get some updates in the depth tools so that now it includes the addition of a frame analyzer. As you can see on the screen, this is the frame analyzer. So here it will also suggest you about the performance of each frame so that you can see how's your application performing and what is causing slow performance on your application. And after this, we also get some updates for the Windows, Mac and web platform that now we can use our trackpad to move the cursor while typing from left to right. Means if we want to move the cursor from one point to another point to edit some text, now we can use our trackpad so we can easily scroll through the text without having to scroll and point at some point. We can just use the trackpad and go there and edit whatever we want and there is one important update for the mac os users that flutter is no longer going to support your mac os version 10.13 before this flutter stopped supporting your 10.11 and 12 and now 13 is also removed if you want to use flutter your mac os must be 10.14 which is the mojave so this is the minimum version flutter supports Let's talk about the final important improvement in this release that before this release we had to rebuild our application whenever we add new fonts into our Flutter application. But now when we add new fonts into the pubspec.yaml we can simply hot reload and see the new fonts into our application means no rebuilding is required now. Okay, let's talk about if you should upgrade your Flutter version or not. So as I just told you everything works new in this version and honestly I find no reason to upgrade to the latest version other than the memory management as they claim that memory management is improved in this version. So if you are a macOS user you will have to upgrade your macOS version also if you want to use Flutter as it is no longer supporting your old versions. So macOS Mojave is the minimum version you can use. So I see no benefit in upgrading and I would say that we should wait for an other release as there is no improvement for the mobile platform as you know that Flutter is mainly used for the mobile app development. So in this 
variant there is no such major improvement for the mobiles so i would say that stick to your old variant that you are using and wait for the next release and let's hope that it brings some good changes to the mobile platform so that's all for today let me know in the comments what do you think about this latest update and if you are going to upgrade to the latest variant or not see you allah is